Now that you've been prescribed EpiPen, it's important that you learn how to use it correctly. That way, you can feel more confident and prepared in the event of a severe allergic reaction. In the case of an allergic emergency, every second counts. That's why it's so important to always have easy access to EpiPen and to use it at the first signs of a severe allergic reaction. Here's how. EpiPen is administered in two simple steps. Hold EpiPen with the orange tip pointing down, blue to the sky. Remove the blue safety cap by pulling straight up without bending or twisting it, orange to the thigh. Swing and push the orange tip firmly into your mid-outer thigh until you hear a click. And hold on your thigh for several seconds. EpiPen will work through clothing if necessary. After EpiPen is used, the orange needle cover will automatically extend to cover the needle. This safely covers the needle as the auto-injector is pulled away from your thigh. You will not see the needle before, during or after use. The extended orange needle cover and black indicator in this window will show you that EpiPen has delivered its epinephrine. Remember that using EpiPen does not replace seeing a doctor or going to the hospital. The effects of epinephrine can wear off or you could have a second reaction. So call 911 or go to the emergency room right after using EpiPen. If your reaction continues, or your symptoms return before you receive medical attention, it's okay to use another EpiPen until the symptoms stop. Remember to bring all the used EpiPen auto-injectors with you to the hospital. Give them to a healthcare professional for inspection and disposal. After getting medical help, stay close to a hospital or where you can easily call 911 for the next 48 hours. Before leaving the hospital, remember to ask for a new prescription for multiple EpiPen auto-injectors. Watch this video as many times as you need to learn how to use EpiPen. You can also practice with the EpiPen training device. It's very important to only use your training device when practicing. Never use a real EpiPen to practice on yourself or others. For more information about severe allergies and EpiPen, visit EpiPen.ca.